understand. I know saving her was the right thing, but she seemed all evil at the end. Not evil. You killed her son, lad. Her son. The death of a child is not something a parent gets over easily. But he was gonna kill her. She would have died to see him live. Only a parent can understand. So you'd let me kill you? If it meant you would live, yes. Look, there was no easy choice for anybody, brother. But I think we can all agree you did the right thing. The world's a better place with Freya in it. Just give her time, lads. She'll come around. Back to Tyr's temple, then. One last time. Aye. Jotunheim awaits. One last time indeed. G'day sports fans, it's Phantom 100 here. Welcome back to God of War, the Let's Play. And they're talking still when I thought they were done. You guys done? Why did Mistletoe break the spell? You guys already talked about this last episode. Jesus, please. Slippery and elusive. I'm sure it makes sense if you're a witch. Oh, but it's also bloody tragic. Balder was the greatest gift Odin granted, Freya. The one thing she treasured from their marriage. She only hoped to spare him pain and spare herself loss. But such impulses can lead good parents to make terribly stupid decisions. Right. Anyway, they had all that dialogue last time. For some reason, the game's like autosave thing. It puts them uh, back before the dialogue. Anyway, that was a pretty epic fight last episode. Hope you guys are doing well and welcome. Thanks for clicking. Uh, sorry for that slow start. But I wanted to get that dialogue out of the way just because you... In case you guys need a refresher on what they said last episode. But anyway, after that epic fight with Baldur, who is now dispatched of, uh, we now have some choices here. Now, I think, do we take a boat or do we take this? I think we just take this, right? This would be quicker. Surely, if we take this, this would be the way we should go. Anyway, I'm looking forward to seeing where the story goes now that Baldur, who kind of kicked this whole thing off because he attacked us, uh, now that he's out of the picture, I'm like, okay, so now we've got to... Where's this going to go now? All right, so that's going to take us... We need to get as close as possible. Uh, what's the, wait, home? Is home? No, home is literally home. Okay. Rock shop. That'll take us right there. That's perfect. That's where we need to go. Next game. Forgive me a good sense of direction. Um, yeah, and the, the boat's also magical because it was destroyed last time and now it's back. I, I mentioned that last episode. Uh, trying to think of anything else of note to mention. Uh, I haven't decided what the next game is going to be when we finish this. Yes, that's a terrible pity. Okay, tell me again how Odin knew we were going to Jotunheim before we did. Odin is extremely clever, you see. Nearly as clever as he thinks he is. And he's a collector of prophecies. If it's about the future, he adds it to his collection. Helps him style himself as all-seeing and all-knowing. But of course, the idea is control. Control of the future, control of his fate. He'd control every realm of every land in every world if he could. Every potential pocket of resistance, he seeks to eliminate. Even if you've never posed a threat before, he may think one day you might. So you see, it's not important how he knew before you did. It's important that he was right. Interesting. So Odin really is a bit of a busybody trying to be a know-it-all. Um... We also support, yeah, I haven't given any thought as to what the next game after this is going to be, but I mean, uh, when I completed, make sure there's no dialogue here, uh, when I completed uh, Dead Space 1, which is my, which was my Monday Let's Play, we're now doing Dead Space 2, so go and check that out if you want some scary stuff, uh, when I finished Dead Space 1, for something I'm stewing up for you. yeah, yeah, I'm going to do that later on, like, you know, when I'm finished with this, uh, what was I saying, uh, so, yeah, if you go and check out the last episode of Dead Space, I actually watched that whole series, please. It was really fun. I implore you to go check it out. Um, on the last episode, I wrote down a list of games that I want to play for the channel. Well, if things work according to plan. <clears throat> so, yeah, I, uh, I wrote a big list of games I want to play on the channel, which which I, I forget, I don't remember, like, half of them, but it was a pretty big list of games that I'm willing to do a Let's Play on. So, one of one of those would probably be something that will take over the slot when God of War is done. The reason I'm mentioning this now is, I'm pretty sure there's still a bit to go, but I feel like we're getting close to that. So, feel free to check out that video, uh, look at that list, and then let me know in the comments, or at me on Twitter, or on the Facebook page. Links to the Twitter and all that sort of thing are in the description of these videos. 
And uh, yeah, let me know which of those games you would like to see when we're done with this one. Just so I'm prepared ahead of time, and when God of War is done, we can continue on whatever the next adventure is that you guys pick. So if you guys pick a big, if the multiple games are picked, we'll vote on them or something like that, you know. And there's, there's some good ones in there that I want to play, like the entire Charter Collection, and like Mario Odyssey, like there's a huge mixture of games. I feel like there's almost something for everyone in that pick, so yeah, let me know. Anyway, on to the thing at hand, which is maybe now we can finally go and see uh, the Giants. Just got to pick the right one. Is it this one? It's right. Jotunheim, right? Pretty sure this is it. So we're trying to go to. They've only said that a million times, so this should be right. Right? Boy, the head. Get ready. Get ready with the head. Got it. Poor Mimir. Just he's just called he the head. Oh, <laughs> I've considered that. Maybe <laughs> we should talk about this a bit more. <laughs> nah, I'm sure you'll be fine. Yeah, I'm sure you'll be fine. Ready? Nah. Oh God. That's unpleasant. That's unpleasant. Yikes. Whoa. Whoa. Holy God. Holy fudge. We must be close. Boy, man. Well, what are we waiting for? Think it's far? We will see. Wow. Here we go. Been working towards this for a long time. Pretty excited. I actually am very hot to use before we continue. Oh? Okay. Listen, the last thing you two need up there is a decomposing heat ruin in the moment. Huh? Why don't I wait for you here? What? This is between you and the boy. Not true. But if someone wants to fight... My lady sips soft, perfect sloshers. You done did it. Yes, we did. Sorry. We had to see this. Oh, no. No, 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 no. What? Fine, damn it. Fine. Watch the head till we return. Oh. I can do this. <laughs> no, no, I can't. <laughs> no, no, I can't. Okay. Thanks, Ready. bro. Come. So now we don't have a mirror with us anymore. He doesn't, he doesn't, after all this, he doesn't want to be with us for this. The boys came to look. Wait, where are they? Where'd they go? They're not here anymore. Fudge. Okay. There's also the brothers turned up. Now a look. Kind of surprised that Mimir doesn't want to come with us for this. <laughs> Do hurry back. Goat boy. <laughs> Please hurry back. We can't even sprint here. This is our. This is our movement. We can't sprint. Okay. I was hoping to scale this faster. Oh my God. Do these stairs ever end? Wow. Holy fudge. Okay. This is pretty cool, though. I'm so excited to finally retreat. Finally travel to Jotunheim. God damn. This is... How long have we been focused on this now? Quite a while. Ugh. Let's just keep moving forward. There we go. Oh. Oh, look. It's a it's a bridge. A rickety look, bridge. We're on the giant's fingers. I can see the highest peak ahead. Right over there. We did it. We did. We did. The highest peak was in Jotunheim. That's where. That's where she wanted to go. Do we get to learn more about who she was? Seems like his. Uh, um, seems like Atreus' mum was like really, really a big deal. For what we've learned vaguely since then. What are you doing? I have nothing more to hide. Oh? The bandages were to hide something? The scars? Can we go now? We're so close. Boy. 
Yeah, those are the marks from the chains wrapped around his arms. Because they're attached to his arms for so long in the original games. It's weird seeing him bare, hand, bare armed like that. Oh yeah, because he always wanted to carry the... He wanted to carry the ashes, didn't he? You're ready! You're ready to carry her. It's all come full circle. Awesome. Well, the bandages are gone, but the chains are back on. <laughs> That's cool. That's cool. So Kratos has shedded the bandages. He's not afraid of the scars anymore. Boy. It's nothing. I just thought I'd hear voices by now. Oh. The Trias is carrying the ashes. So we'll come around, guys. Surely this isn't going to be the last episode, right? No, we, this, there's got to be more. Anybody here? There's more to this, for sure. Hello? The, 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 the statues. Big ones. What is this place? They must have all come through here when they left Midgard. What was left of them. Huh. Why carve all these faces? What if this is all the giants that got out of Midgard alive? Not really many at all. Maybe. I wonder how big they actually are. Odin and Thor. Ruining everything for everybody. Uh, typical. Stupid gods. Think they're the best. Think they can do what they like. Unacceptable. Oh, look, there's a bench. You just take a seat here. Oh. Huh. Who's the guardian? You can tell us more about what that says, boy. Just who's the guardian? That's it. I need context. We still can't I sprint either, know, by the way. But I don't. This place is dead. What happened? Oh, that's. Why'd mom send us here? One question is answered, and two more take its place. Place feels dead to him, huh? All good. Oh, we're in a cutscene. We're not in control anymore. I didn't even notice the game take control away. <laughs> Other transitions are so good. Never notice it. Oh. Wait, father. Uh. It reacted to that. It looked dead. Maybe it was a disguise. As soon as the trash touched it. Because of his relation to his mother, she's got a connection to this place. It's your axe. Yep. It's mother. Yep. Look. She's arguing with a bunch of giants. Weird. She knew giants? Looks like it. With everything that's happened so far, it wouldn't surprise me that she knew them. It's us. Huh? The first time we met the world serpent. Wow, that's all carved here? But how? Okay, that's insane. This whole we thing predicted. What? But that just happened. Oh my god. Wait. They knew everything that was going to happen. Yeah, it's all predicted. The dragon in the mountain. The stone mason. Wow. All these drawings. This is our story. Yep. Oh. This is your story. But... What does it all mean? That I was not the only parent with secrets. Oh. Oh. You didn't know. She was a giant. She what? What? She was a giant? Is that what we got? What, really? No way! She was a giant, not very big giant. <laughs> I guess I, don't know, I guess they're not she actually giant no size. We would find this. But why not just tell us the truth? Yeah, well, would have had good reasons. Maybe. We hope so. Baldi oh, was never sent to find me. No, he wasn't. He was tracking her all along. Yep, he's looking for her. She was only ashes. If she had a plan for us, I trust it. Whatever it is. Besides, mm. she hasn't been wrong yet. No, it's true. We're so close to the end now. 
So giants are obviously not giant. Yes. They can obviously be normal size. Yes, we are. Oh boy, what is that? What does that mean? What was that we just looked at? What does that mean, Kratos? What was that? What was happening in that picture? What was happening in that picture? I don't get it. Um. Anyway, so... Yeah, uh, kind of a big deal. Uh, she was a giant, apparently. So that means the boy is half god, half giant, or something like that. I'm forgetting something, aren't I know. That, that's insanity, though. Fudge. It's mother's. She was here. She saw every step we took before we took it. She like knew. she was always with us. She Watching knew over us, all about it. That's crazy. Leading us home. Let's finish it. This is absolutely insane. Nutty. Okay, let's climb up and... I don't know how to wrap my head around this. Wow. I am mind blown right now. I am literally mind blown. My little brain hurts. <laughs> it's insane. Can't, I did not see that coming. Gotta be on. I've gotta be honest. I had a feeling she was important, but didn't see that coming. I should learn by now to expect the unexpected, shouldn't I, with these kind of games? But no, I still just let myself ramble on. I don't take it too seriously. Oh, cutscene again. Whoa. Father. No. We do it together. Son. Oh, wow. It's kind of hitting different, guys. <laughs> nothing for us here. Fudge, really? Come. Really think they're all gone? It sucks that they're really all gone. So, I get that mother was a giant. Which makes me part giant and part god. And part mortal. Right. I guess there's just one thing I don't understand. My name on the wall. Giants called me Loki. Loki? What? Really? He's supposed to be Loki? Really? That's the name your mother wanted for you when you were born. She must have called you that to her people. Loki. But why? A question for another day. Let us go home. That's crazy. She wanted to call him Loki? Okay, I'm assuming that Kratos wanted him to call Atreus, though. Wait, I'm trying to think. Atreus does sound familiar, though. Maybe it's somebody from Kratos' past? I feel like that name must be important to him. For this boy to be called Atreus and not Loki, Atreus must be an important name as well. It's the only way. Oh, look at that! Trophy earned! Last wish! Okay, so what happens next, then? Return to the temple. Okay. Uh... So we've got to go back down here, right? So all of that. It all makes sense now. Why she want to end up here? 
do with her kind? Yeah. But did she know it was going to be like this here? Is this what she wanted us to see? Did she want us to tell the people? Or keep it a secret? I... do not know. So what should we do? I trust you to decide that. Oh. We've got credits now, so that must be it. Why'd you want to name me Atreus? I know it can't be for a god. <laughs> no. He was a soldier. A Spartan. A great warrior? All Spartans are great warriors. We trained from birth. Our lives were discipline, duty, battle, and death. Life was grim, and we greeted it grimly. Hmm. But Atreus of Sparta was unlike the rest of us. He wore a smile even in the worst of times. Oh. He was happy. He inspired us to hope that though we were machines of war, yet there was humanity in us. Goodness. When the day came for him to lay down his life in battle, his sacrifice saved countless others and turned the tide in our favor. I carried him home on his shield and buried him with all the honors of Spartan custom. His memory was a comfort in dark times. Wow. You actually told a good story. Mimir missed it. Mimir missed a good story. Dear Lord. Okay. Wow. Well, now we know who Atreus was. He was important, all right. He's basically a hero. Ah! Being blinded by the light. Oh, we do still have control. Okay. I was going to say I was blinded and I couldn't see and I thought maybe there was like a cutscene coming, but no. Down we go. All of this was to be here. Is that really the end? Surely there's something else going to happen. I bet there are still some corrupted Valkyries out there that can be set free. Some other help people. Maybe helping people was part of why Mom sent us out here too. I mean, what would Atreus of Sparta do? And what would Loki do? Huh. That's a weird name. I'm glad we went with yours. <laughs> Loki is a very powerful god and very interesting. That means Atreus has got a really interesting future ahead of him. Not just because of his heritage, but because of the destiny that's entwined with that name. Lads, am I glad to see you. Hey, Mimir. I've reached my limit for dwarven charm. Why is he on the ground? They took an uncomfortable number of measurements and then proceeded to bicker about the weather. Where do you want us to take you? How about the warm confines of anywhere bloody else? <laughs> anywhere bloody else, he says. Of course. Explore the trails. Continue exploring. Complete dwarven favors. Free dragons. Travel to... Free dragons? What? Travel to Muslimheim and Niflheim. Find the armor shop to get powerful equipment that are related to defeat all legendary corrupted Valkyries. Valkyries revealed. Their locations are revealed. Okay. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Alright, new game plus lets you start a game while maintaining your equipment. I like it. Can we access any time for the options menu? Oh, it's right there. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, what now then? Uh, if I go to the map, like, is that... I'm just trying to figure out here. Uh, let's go back to... Which is the realm that we came from? Alright, like, can we actually go back to the home? Because, like, does the game have some sort of big grand entry? Enter, uh, blah, 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 blah. To return to Midgard uh, is the center of the realms. Okay, we'll go back to Midgard. We'll go back to Midgard because I think that's where everything started. Before um, we return to Midgard, I should warn you. More time has passed than you want to realize. The snowballer began when you snowballed up. It's become something else. The stuff of omens. Of oh, omens? For the coming of winter. Not just any winter. But a great winter to span three summers. And when it's done, time for the Red Rock. Oh. Snow. Aye, snow. Lots more snow. And then the end of the bloody world. In that approximate order. Another prophecy. No, brother. Prophecy doesn't expect this for a hundred more winters at least. You've changed something. Prophecy didn't count on you. God damn it, you're saying that we kickstarted. Ragnarok by doing stuff? Are you joking? So that's going to be leading to the second game then, huh? Because, you know, it's called Ragnarok. Do, 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 do. Okay. Tell me you, it's I can feel 
feel it in my scrot. This is the big one. Stop saying that. Oh, you're making me very nervous. It was bound to snow sooner or later. That ain't just snow, and you know it. It's the end times. How dare you make me the voice of this? Guys, just discussing the weather. Bit of a cold snap lately. What he means is, Fimble winter's upon us, boys. The winner to end all winners. I can feel it in my school. Y yeah. We... We heard. So, if you're heading home, try to keep moving. And also, to not die. Or if you're not heading home, same advice. <laughs> same advice. Try not to die. How comforting. Uh, is there a way that we can... Oh, wait, can't we use this to, tr to teleport home? We can, can't we? We can use this to teleport home. The only reason I want to go home is because the game alluded to it, so I'm thinking, like, you know, maybe something will happen when we go here. So let's just go here. Let's just go home. Is this the way the game ends, though? Like, no more dialogue, no other final cutscene, there's just that, the credits, and then the game just immediately goes open to? I'm sure it's nothing. He just said the boy seemed familiar to him. Me? Huh. That's impossible. Don't I quite agree. Unless, perhaps, he refers to something yet to be. It is said that when Jormungandr and Thor battle at Ragnarok, their clash so violently shakes the tree of life that it splinters, casting the serpent backward through time, even before his own birth. What? That is madness. Well, I did say not to concern yourself. Wait, so you're saying that the serpent, the, the, the serpent might not be from this timeline? He has vague memories of the timeline he was ejected from? So Ragnarok happens on a loop, so that's why he recognizes Atreus? Is that, is that what we're saying here? It's some sort of time paradox where the, the poor serpent gets flung backwards all the time? That's kind of insane. Uh, when you think about, okay, so we're home now. We're finally home. Feels like a lifetime ago. Yeah. Drafty, maybe. It's a right improvement over having tree bark in your tadger. That is true. We can just open this. Time to rest. I'm gonna sleep through winter. We can't, though, because the end of the world is coming. Can we interact with this? Oh, we can, too. What happens if we interact with this? Okay. This'll do. Ah. Okay. Sleep. Way ahead of you. <laughs> well, technically, they haven't slept this entire adventure. That makes sense, right? Okay. Years later. The ball. Years later? Okay, that's not years later. The boy hasn't aged. That makes no sense at all. Oh. Whoa. Oh, hello. Hello there. Who are you? That's Thor, isn't it? It's Thor. That's beyond now. That's a wonderful way to cap things off. Whoa, okay. Okay. I see you, game. Well, okay, that's, 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 that's credits. That's final rolling credits. <laughs> I did the right thing. <laughs> oh, that's insane. Okay. Wow. Santa Monica, you blew my mind. I did not expect that at all. Well, guys, that's, uh, that is it after all. That is the, it's the end of God of War. We finished it. The story anyway. Like, I'll be playing more of the extra stuff, you know, off screen, obviously, because, Game's amazing, and uh, I'll probably play through the entire story again when it comes out on PC next year. It's only a couple of months away, actually. Pretty excited about playing that. Uh, if you guys do want to see, I won't do a complete playthrough again, but if you guys do want to see a bit of the PC version, or maybe some of the extra side quests, I might upload some footage playing it, maybe. Um, wow. Yeah, as I mentioned earlier in the video, uh, there is a huge list of games that I want to play. So, um, what I'll do is, I'll, oh, okay, I'll make it easier. Right? I will copy paste that list in the description of all the games I want to play and uh, you guys could pick something that we'll be playing on Fridays now that now that we're finally done I, I didn't think it was gonna happen but there you go 
God of War is done. Epic adventure. I really appreciate you guys watching. It means a lot to me. It was a lot of fun recording this. It was a, quite a journey because I started playing this quite a while ago on the channel. Like, the first episode was done over a year ago or something, like ages ago. And I came back to it and off and on. I've been off and on with it. And I only wanted to record this game. So I never just started playing it while I was, like, on really long breaks and all that sort of thing. I always wanted to come back and finish it. So finishing this is a big deal to me because... Yeah, it's a long time coming. I'm glad I finally finished it for myself, for the channel, for you guys. And I hope that uh, hope that you guys have been watching it. I hope that maybe you're watching this because you found the playlist and started it recently or whatever. You binged it. I don't mind. Um, it means a lot to me you watched. Hitting all those buttons and stuff really helps me out. And it shows me that you enjoyed this and you want to see more of this sort of content. The Let's Plays are a lot of fun. It's like, you know, they're, they're a different side of the channel that I definitely want to keep around. Um... Hit all those buttons and hang around and stuff. We are six subscribers away from 300, and there's going to be the $100 Steam gift card and two months of Game Pass Ultimate as part of the giveaway when we reach that milestone. More giveaways planned in the future. Obviously, I want to keep doing that because I think it's just it's a fun way to uh, say thanks and stuff. We do giveaways at milestone, so probably 600, and then if we ever somehow got there, 1,000 after that, I'd say it'd be a pretty even way to go. And then from then on, I, I don't know. <laughs> I can't even imagine myself getting that big. But I can if you guys help me out and uh, give me a chance to prove myself and keep getting better. Oh, I just can't believe we're done. It's crazy. After all this time, feels good. Feels good to be finally done with this game. So we're gonna we're gonna end the credits here to go back to present day. Okay. Atreus, are you ready? Yeah, but I had the weirdest dream. Fimbo Winter was ending, and Thor came for us. Oh, it was here a dream. It was only a dream. But it felt different. It felt real. It felt like... the future. Then we will worry about it tomorrow. Today, there are still things we can do. Come. Okay, so it goes back to present day. That acts as the dream. And you can open the door. And now the entire world will open up to us. And we can now go and do... Whatever the fudge we like. That's uh, pretty exciting. If the boy comes outside. There he is. That's pretty exciting. So now we can go and do whatever we like. Which is what I'm going to be definitely doing off camera. <laughs> but yeah. Appreciate you guys. Thanks so much. And uh, yeah. I hope that you uh, find something in the list appealing to play. And uh, yeah. Appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching this. Thanks for watching so much. That's, that's all I can really say. I can't. I'm too bamboozled right now. <laughs> so till the next time, guys. Dodge that game over screen. I am Phantom 100. This has been God of War 2018. And uh, I'm signing off for now.